Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, December the 21st. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get in, and I'm live on the mic between 9 a.m. and up to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I share my screen all day long. If you'd like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, this is the link you can use. The promo code there will get you, uh, let's see, it's about 20% off, I think. It costs you a little over $5 a day for our premium package on an annual basis. All right, what a great, great day in the room. Another um, very interesting one. This is uh, one I got into earlier. Too bad I'm still not in it, especially on this pop-up here. But what's what's uh, really interesting, and I sort of renamed this because I do have another one called Trend Reversal. So this is basically, these were these are these reversal plays. And, um, you know, because I... I've, uh, if I did a history on this, you'd see that BITA are alerted uh, right around here. You can see on the daily chart what it's looking at. You know, these are stocks that have been beaten up and now starting to make the turn. So this is these are this is turning into a really really interesting uh, alert window uh, that I'm watching all day long. So I took the bid of trade. What was my price? I got in it. Uh, you know, you would think, okay, it's over, right? Here's a 15-minute candles, half an hour into the market. Uh, took the trade at 9.15. That's the um, the price. Took the trade, let's see, yeah, it was right on this pullback here. And took the trade. Now, I did get out some at 9.31. Got, got some more out at 9.42, when it did, just didn't look like it wanted to break 50. And actually, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm in here because uh, that's right. I was uh, I was in up here, and this is where I didn't think it was going to break 50. It came back down, and then look, it popped up, and now it's really popped up again. Actually, I'm not even sure now if, if this is where I took it. These are 15 minutes. I, oh, that's right. These are 15-minute candles. I, it was here that I took it. I could look at my time and sales, uh, but I'm too lazy to look at my brokerage platform right now. But um, So it was in this area here, and it pulled back. I thought, okay, maybe it is over. So I got out, but uh, look at this pop. Anyway, that was a really, really nice trade. Holly gave gave us a, a nice early trade, really warming up to this. Let's see the back this out. CRR CRR was alerted at 10:64, and this is uh, what we call our the wake up call. And again. I think I've seen about four or five of them over this past week, and they some of them have been very, very nice. And I look at the daily, and this is what I like to see. I like to see some little, you know, over here, a little bit of room that it, that it can run if it wants to. And that's what I'm seeing from this this particular alert. So, a few things. Um, got into the trade. Get the... Uh, so here, here, here was the alert at 10.64. Took the trade at uh, 1069, got out some at uh, 1080, got out some at uh, 1090. Now, broke over 11. Uh, now, I was out by then. Broke over 11 briefly right here. Then, as it came back down through uh, 11, I got out at uh, 1099 actually. Actually, tried to get, I, I, I took this trade again on the break here. Fortunately, I took took the trade at 11:14, and I did not scalp any out. I should have. This popped up almost immediately at 11:31. Could have got out some, didn't, and ended up actually taking about a seven cent loss on, on the way down. But, but you know, nice trade. I, I'm I'm really warming up to that uh, particular alert. Now I am uh, still in. This has really done absolutely nothing, but no reason for me to get out. It's another Holly Holly alert at. Um, the alert is at 140. Really done nothing, just hanging around here. You can see in the pre-market, it hit 160. So uh, there's the alert at 140. I'm in at 142, and you know it's really done nothing. So I'm just kind of hanging on to this one. Uh, one great trade, HK. And I'm, ooh, I might be getting back into it. I'm gonna have to watch this one pretty closely. Um, this came from the reversal, and I don't have it here because I again I did a reload of this. But I think the original alert came right around uh, 888. I'm going to put a, a mark up right there, 888. And um, you know you might have thought, okay, it's already extended, but man, look at the thing run. I got into the trade at uh, 925, right here. Even though it looked like it already been running, like oh, okay, just a second. I think I'm going to take this trade. Just just a minute.
just I'm just just looking and uh, I'm gonna have to monitor this. Yeah, okay, I took some at 9.13, so we'll see. Uh, see if this can uh, just pop up, g give me a little bit more of a... So I'm in that one at 9.13. So I'm going to have to watch this one. I'm going to have to put it on my other monitor. Just one second. Okay. Oh, we'll see what happens. See if it. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking maybe for a fill up into this area. This is kind of just a scalp for me. But the bottom line is, I did get into this trade uh, at uh, 925, 925 up here. Again, you would have thought it had already run uh, a bit. Uh, this doesn't look quite the same on a five on a 15 minute, but you know, had a little five minute candle bottoming tail, and then it took that area out. So that's why I got into it. So 925, just put a mark there. And then look what it did. I mean, it got all the way up to 990. Whoops, might be getting out. <laughs> Just want to see if this holds 9. Okay, if it, if it goes down below 9, I, I, I will get out of the trade. So I'm just watching it on my other monitor. And so, got out of that trade at, uh, actually took a quick, quick, quick scalp at 935. And then uh, 976 and 970, just a great, great trade, uh, and that came from the uh, reversal. So okay, now it's coming back up. And the other one I'm still in is a uh, sum, and this is from uh, Boiler in our room. Uh, take a look at the daily chart. You'll see why I think. To back this out a little bit. Yeah, well, we watched this area here. He said, you know, you should put an alert right around 2450. That's what I did. That's what that green line is. Got into the trade at, I mean, it do, hasn't done very much, but got into the trade at 2457. Uh, no reason to get out of it yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see. So, um, what else did happen? Oh, I took a, that's right, PTCO, a little pink, shot, uh, pink sheet stock, uh, Petrogas. L look at the daily on this. This was uh, 25 cents uh, well, five days ago. Get a high of a dollar nineteen or a dollar twenty-five. Came back yesterday, and it popped over a dollar. I took the trade at a dollar two, sold some at a dollar seven, and then uh, basically at a dollar um, on the way down. So, uh, we'll I will continue to watch this. Not everybody's cup of tea. Obviously, it's a pink sheet stock. Uh, very very uh, can act very very crazy. I mean, if if I look, I, in fact, I'm amazed that it came back. I mean, look what it did. Popped over that dollar right there. And then I thought, okay, that's it. It's really going to give it up uh, 90 cents. And then it popped right back up. So anyway, uh, just one that you might want to watch going forward. All right. Uh, I want to get back to the room and, and keep an eye on my, uh, my, my trade there in HK. Make sure it doesn't go down below $9. And back this out here. All right. So again, this is uh, the address to get into the room. I open the room at about quarter to nine. And I get live at 9, and I say up to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, this is how you can uh, take out a subscription to Trade Ideas. And what else can I possibly tell you? Um, just I've been telling the room that, uh, of course, next Monday is the Christmas holiday, Christmas Day holiday. But I'll also be taking Tuesday off, so there'll be no uh, room on Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday next week. All right. Um, get back to the room. Thanks for listening, and hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.